Hello everybody, welcome to Ultra Films. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a gas mask tin can prop filter. Right, so those of you who are in gas mask collecting know that there are some problems to it. It's running into dodgy filters like these. These contain asbestos which gives you lung cancer. And so if you're trying to make a movie with gas masks in it or you just, you know, you just want to have a non-asbestos filter, then you can try this method that I did and make your own. First you'll need a normal tin can. Then you'll need your drill. Then you need to drill holes in the bottom of your can like this, or you can do whatever you want. You can just do one big hole and a bunch of small holes, or just one big hole or a small hole. Whatever you want, as long as you can breathe. Then place this on top and drill a hole through it. Now you'll need to have another person or just hold the can lid on yourself when you're drilling it on or drilling a hole through it. Here we go. And you must have a hole inside. There we go. Next you'll need some six millimeter nine by 12 inch craft foam. So it's like yay thick like this. And you'll need to grab your gas mask and measure the foam how tall the valve is and then cut it with an X-Acto knife like this. I have already cut a strip right here and so as you can see it's as tall as the valve. And when you cut it make sure to cut the whole entire strip so that way it's long enough to roll up. Alright, to test if it works, you gotta roll it up as tightly as you can. So you gotta do this. Okay, so now you'll need your hot glue gun. And we're going to put little glue dots and along the strip as we roll it up. I'm going to be having this paper towel so that way I don't get it all over the table or desk. Alright, so what I'm going to do is dot it right here and kind of make a line right there. Alright, I'm going to roll it up. Make sure and be careful not to get your fingers. If you do, Wash it with cold water, or run cold water on it, on your finger. And when it runs out of hot glue, you just add another line of hot glue. See, I already got one on my fingernail. Right here. <laughs> That's how close your fingers will get to this. Alright, add some more. Alright, so now that it's done drying, I'm going to glue it over the hole of the lid. So what you can do is either add glue to the foam wheel or add it to the top of the lid. I'm just going to add it to the foam wheel, of course, like this. Alright, then you need to stick it on. 
it's, it's already getting stuck on pretty All right, so now what you'll need to do is drill in the foam, it out, move the can back to its original shape, and just hold it. Put this on like this, and do this. You need to pull the center out, and kind of drill a hole through that too. So you get a nice clean hole through the foam and you can see through like that. All right, so I finally have it through a lot of drilling and stuff like that. I finally have it completely drilled through as you can kind of see through it. And I bring it up to the light. Now you can see. Now I can breathe through it. So yeah. So before we go on to gluing the lid onto the can, we will need to try the breathing test. Now what you'll need is your standard GP5 gas mask with the 40 millimeter screw. And what you'll need to do is test if it fits on here with the lid and if you can breathe through it with the hull. So what you can do is this. You can push it, push and screw it on. And the more you screw it on this way, the more it takes the form of the actual 40 millimeter thread. Kind of makes that squeaking noise, it's probably good. So, put it on, see if you can breathe. So I can breathe, so that's a thumbs up. It works. So now going on to gluing the lid on. All right, so now we need to glue the lid on. So you take the lid, glue the rim right here. Right. Now press it onto your can. There we go. All right. So now we're gonna let that dry and test the full-on filter prop. Okay, so right here I have my prop filter. Now, after you're done with just the basics of putting it together and stuff, um, you can do whatever you want to decorate it. You could spray paint it. Of course, you'll need to cover up the holes and stuff when you do, and then untape it when you're done. And also, you can just, you know, write stuff with a sharpie, you know, like gas mask markings, like I did on this one, the GP GP5 marking. But yeah, this turned out really cool, and I think you should, you know, make one yourself because that way you can replace it, replace an asbestos filter. It'd be better because you know you don't get the risk of having lung cancer and also it'll be good for movies and you know just having a filter for display on a gas mask now all you need to do is take it and put it on to your gas mask so here we go twist it this way okay so now it's on there it looks great too And so that is how you make a GP5 prop filter. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this as a helpful video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And you will see me in the next video. Goodbye.